Hi, it's Trisha from Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute coming at you with another hot tip today. Our hot tips are designed to provide quick, practical insights to help you enhance your ultrasound skills. Whether you're a beginner or seasoned practitioner, these bite-sized lessons are sure to provide valuable knowledge that you can apply right away in your practice. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new hot tips. Enjoy! So the last approach is something called the Cobra approach. That's because the, the position of your hand is going to be shaped like a cobra. You're going to rest the elbow. Elbow is going to go in flexion. And what you're going to do is you're going to place your probe over the posterior portion of the proximal forearm. And you're going to look at the ulna and the radius. And what you're going to see is this little, just almost like a bird beak. This is the distal insertion of the biceps tendon on the radial tuberosity. The downside of this is you don't see the proximal portion of the biceps. You just see the insertion of it. Okay. The, the nice thing about this approach is it's great for injections. You can imagine trying to inject the bicep for whichever reason anteriorly. You've got your uh, median nerve and the brachial artery. So going to the posterior part of the elbow, you can actually, if you're doing a needle tenotomy or if you're injecting PRP or whatever it is, you can actually inject the needle back here without any adverse sequelae. There are a few branches of the posterior neurosseous nerve back here, but pretty much it's a safe approach to bring a needle in through this way. So if for those who are doing regenerative medicine, and if you have somebody with a distal biceps tendinopathy, this would be the preferred approach to hit that distal biceps tendon. And here's just a video of that. So this is the ulna, here's the radius, and as we do pronation and supination, you can actually see just a little beak of that biceps tendon coming out as we run that video as we go pronation and supination through here. And that's our hot tip for today. Now you give it a try.